Hey everyone, hope that it's a good day, that you're doing well. We are continuing in our journey through Mark. We have only two more days in the Gospel of Mark. And so we're going to see in Mark, still in chapter 15, it's later on because there's not a lot of words from Jesus in, in Mark at, at the end as, as he's going to be crucified. We read beginning in Mark chapter 15 and verse 33. It says, at the sixth hour, darkness came over the whole land until the ninth hour. Now, Jesus is on the cross at this point. And at the ninth hour, Jesus cried out in a loud voice, Eloi, Eloi, lama sabachthani, which means, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Now, I wonder how many times in our lives we've thought that, we've said it, we've prayed it. God, why have you forsaken me? If you are my God, why would you abandon me? Why would you leave me? And yet, I know, I believe, I trust. God has never left me. I walk away from God. In the midst of my sin, I turn from God. In the midst of my hard situations, I turn from God. I try to solve it on my own. I try to do all that I can on my own. And then I look back and it's like, God, where were you? when he was always there, never abandoning me, never failing me, never forsaking me, never running out on me, no matter how bad I am. That is our God. That is the beauty, and that's what Jesus was doing for us. And when Jesus was on the cross, and your sin, and my sin, and the sin of the world is being thrust upon him, as he's in agony from the cross, and then agony in his spirit, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? It feels that way. And yet Jesus went to the cross for us so that we could find redemption, we could find wholeness, we could find healing. That human part of Jesus that we like to ignore, we like to look only at the spiritual Jesus. But when we look at the human Jesus, how could he not feel God forsaking him as our sins are being thrust on him, as God can't look. God's like, no, I can't look. And yet the Father sent the Son for us so that we would never face condemnation. That when we say yes to Jesus, we, we are saved. We have the joy of eternal life today and the hope of eternal life tomorrow. Turn to God. Follow him. Trust in his plan, even if it makes no sense. Trust in his plan, because he has a plan, and it's a good plan. Hey, God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow.